Shifts in, in states of consciousness can occur in all kinds of different ways and over this decade of, of work that we've been doing, uh, we've seen it from things as mundane as washing dishes, looking out the window and suddenly having a different perception of my role in life. Uh, it can come from nursing a sick child, it can come from working in a garden, um, and then it can happen in more uh, extreme ways. It can come through uh, an illness experience, a divorce, the loss of a job, something that disrupts the steady state or the equilibrium uh, in, in a fundamental way that, that forces us out of our habitual way of being. Uh, and there are things that we can do, you know, there are these extraordinary moments that give us these glimpses of something bigger. Um, and then there are these qualities of our experience that we can bring to everyday life that can help to open us. So curiosity and playfulness and, and that sense of don't know mind can be very helpful. Um, one of the things that we, we interviewed 60 masters from different world traditions, you know, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, paganism, Muslims, you know, a whole wide gamut of different people. And what we found really is that these kinds of shifts in consciousness um, can be very easy to sustain if in fact you can develop some kind of practice, um, some kind of community that helps you to live into a different model of reality.